video and i'm just so happy to be back like yes i'm coming with the uploads y'all today no i'm actually going to upload three videos for you guys today two or three videos one of them two i'm still keeping my word with either a double or a triple upload so yeah y'all get ready i tell y'all already know what i'm talking about today and this for my home girls my 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 late either my little sisters or my big sisters if you're older than me we're a family on this channel period so um on my uh analytics i see that i have more females than i do males so I figured that this was actually a good topic to talk about for those that don't know. Even for those that do know these things, if you still want to put in a few uh, corners in the comments below, feel free. Let's let's work up on a conversation inside the comment section, okay? So yeah, if you have any uh, things that you want to add on to the tips that I'm giving, feel free to comment whatever and I'll be sure to reply. I have um, 10 feminine hygiene tips and I t I be forgetting a lot of stuff so I just tend to write my stuff down on notepad. That way I won't be looking retarded on camera. This video was not highly requested but I feel like it was a good video to do since you know I have more females that you know tune in to my videos more so than the males. So with that being said, oh sorry, with that being said, give this video a thumbs up comment positivity subscribe and watch this video until the end because i probably can help you out hopefully this is um good this for whoever needs them so let's get into it <laughs> i have 10 feminine hygiene tips so the first one is the type of underwear you wear so um this is basically for people that wants to know like things about the vagina smell or why does you know your vagina smells you know so this like helpful tips on that um, so basically, why does your vagina probably smell if you know that is if you're one of those girls that have that problem? Um, if you can, uh, it's probably the type of uh, panties you're wearing. Um, when I mean that, um, at you know people aren't really the people aren't really hip to wearing certain panties at nighttime. Um, I feel like silk holds in the vagina, whatever you call it, vagina, the kitty cat, the cat box or something. <laughs> so with silk panties, um, it really, it don't, it don't let your, your vagina breathe, you know? And you know, at night, that's like the perfect time to just let the vagina just breathe out, rather you're sleeping naked. Cause personally, I like my vagina to air out, you know, just let it breathe after a long day, just let it breathe, you know, sleep naked or whatever you wanna do it. Hey, I don't know. That's if you want to know if like sleep naked, okay? Cotton is more so better for at night if you tend to wear panties at night. I don't know, you know, every, everyone's different. Um, it all, you know, goes with what you're comfortable with or how you like to sleep at night. So, cotton is more so better than silk panties because cotton uh, lets your, you know, cootie cat breathe at night still. Silk, no, it like... Your your kid can't, can't breathe with silk, so it's best if you wear cotton panties, or you know just let the thing breathe and sleep naked. <laughs> okay. The second tip is wiping your vagina. This is like a um, I'm pretty sure you learned this when you were younger, uh, to always wipe front to back because if you wipe back to front. You're letting in all that bacteria from your booty hole. If you poop, um, you're letting all that bacteria from that come to your vagina hole. And that can also, you know, cause a UTI, a urinary tract infection. And you don't want that. Basically, that is um, when you pee and it hurts like it burns. And that is not, you know, that's not <laughs> good at all. You don't want that, it's very painful. Um, so to avoid that, just wipe front to back. Cause as I know your vagina hole is close to the booty hole. And you want to keep bacteria from the booty hole and the poop from inserting inside of your vagina hole. So that, by doing that, that can also keep away from UTIs, uh, smell, bacteria, all that. So front, back, not back and front. I'll be teaching Elena that, okay? I'll be teaching her like, no, 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 no. No, Elena, wipe front <laughs> to back, okay? Front, back. The third one is avoid using soap. Uh, down there because it can mess up your pH balance and that is also true um, I had um, a doctor tell me to not do that because this is probably too much information or whatever but 
but I used to do that. Um, not now, but a few years back, I used to do that when I used to get my little checkups when I was younger. Um, I used to do, you know, I used to watch, do soap down there, and you know, my doctor told me to not do that because you know it can cause problems down there. So guess what, your girl did. And I stopped. <laughs> okay. So don't use soap down there. Water is fine uh, when washing in the inside. Water is fine. You don't have to use a lot of soap to get the smell, you know, from your vagina. So you don't need to get a bar of soap and, and wash that thing inside. Um, what you can do is you can use soap on the outside of your vagina, like the um, like the lips and you know on the side of your leg and stuff. But putting soap like inside the no, nah. Fourth one is every vagina have a smell is natural. Um, as long as it don't smell like something fishy or like an um, intolerable smell. Like if you just can't bear it, yeah, you have to uh, go get that checked out and they will, you know, prescribe you with some type of medicine or treatment to, you know, help with that. Um, so basically, people put it in, in people's, people put in your mind that your vagina is supposed to smell like freaking cotton candy or some something good like butterflies or something or I don't know they, they make it seem that that's how your vagina is supposed to smell no your vagina has a natural you know smell to it but it's not no type of fishy smell uh, not no no smell like something's dying and when it gets to that smell you have a problem <laughs> and you need to get you know checked out to you know cure that problem before it gets to work. Vaginas have natural smell to it. Again, it don't stink, but it's a smell, you know? But it don't stink, it's not fishy, and it don't smell like something that's dying. But all vaginas have, you know, a smell to it. It's, it's just natural. Next one is, wait, one, two, three, four. Okay, I'm gonna, a uh, fifth one. The next one is, your vagina have a natural discharge as long as the discharge isn't brown or green or yellow or white that look like cottage cheese. So basically, um, yeah, just sum that up <laughs> real quick. Um, you know, your vagina is comes with a natural discharge as long as it's not brown, pink, or you know, just out of the blue, ordinary, an ordinary type of discharge that make you wonder like, what the heck is this? You know, so it shouldn't be nothing like that. But everything else is, you know, is natural. Avoid using bath bombs. I've been told to avoid use using a bath bomb because that can throw off your pH balance. Body, you know, body is not the same. Uh, so you have some people that haven't had no problems with it, but you have some that did. It can either, you know, mess with, it can mess up your pH balance, cause itchiness, you know, just cause your vagina is irritated. Uh, that's what, you know, happens. So you might want to stay away from bath bombs. UTIs, if you have one, uh, which is in a urinary tract infection, I already uh, explained it earlier. Um, how it feels. You will know if you have a uh, UTI, trust me, you will know. <laughs> Every piss you take, it burns and it just make you not want to pee. They say that cranberry juice can help with that and it really can. Um, I've been hearing a lot about it um, and you know, I had um, a family member that had it and she told me that yeah, it really worked. She didn't have a problem with it. It didn't go away like that, but it does help. Even doctors say that you know, cranberry juice also helps with that so yeah if you have a UTI don't be ashamed a lot of women do get UTI so you're not alone if you experience having a UTI just you know stay cautious about what you use what you wear and you know hey drink uh, cranberry juice make sure you stay hydrated by drinking water so you have to drink water to keep your pH balance you know, up and right and tight, okay? Next one is your vagina cleanses itself. Your body works on its own. You don't need to use products to make your vagina smell good like Victoria's Secret bath bombs or perfumes or anything like that. It just throw off your pH balance. So again, your your vagina has a natural smell to it. You don't need to put in all these type of products to make it smell good because it's, only, it's not gonna last long. It's only gonna last uh, maybe a couple days maybe a few hours and then you know something goes wrong because you're trying to use something that you don't need to use because your body cleanses itself so the discharge helps cleanse out your body clean, cleanse out the bacteria and everything 
So you're good with that. You don't need to add no products or anything to make your vagina smell good when it's not gonna do anything for you. Keep it natural and tight, mama, okay? This one is make sure you shave or trim because holding excessive vagina hair um, can cause odor, bacteria, and all that. They have a shaving cream that you can use. I think it's Ola Vera or something like that. That helps prevent hair bumps because they don't recommend using soap because soap causes hair bumps and stuff. So if you just use a shaving cream and shave properly, uh, you know, like um, up and then down, don't, you know, really go crazy with it. Just up and down, natural shaving. And um, yeah, you should be good with that. The last one says, make sure you're using, oh, huh? I just said that, y'all. I'm just ahead of the game right now. So basically to cure UTIs, all you have to do is just watch what you're wearing. Wiping good, I mean front to back, not back to front. Um, avoid wearing tight panties, tight clothes, like tight bottoms, because that can also cause problems and also a UTI as well. I mean, you just want your vagina to breathe. Like, wear the proper clothing. Like, if you're large, don't get no small, okay? If you're medium, don't get no small. If you're small, don't get no extra small. You're just, it, it's just not gonna work, sis. You gotta work with your body is like if you're a large get you a large or get you you know something bigger if you're a medium get you a medium or get you something large if you're a small get you something small get you a medium you know what i'm saying so that being said i hope y'all enjoyed this video i hope it helped if you have any pointers that you want to throw out for me don't be afraid to comment it down in the section below we're family here look if i need to if you um if you disagree with what i'm saying hey comment it down and we can you know have a conversation about it and um, if this really helped, I'm glad it did. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And I will see y'all in the next video.